Hi there, my name is Matthew Connor. I'm Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton. Today we're going to show you how to update your system preferences and create a proxy within ERP Cloud. So when you're logged into ERP Cloud, you'll click on your name in the upper left hand corner and then you'll go to Set Preferences. If you have a general ledger role, your default will come in and it'll allow you to update your general ledger preferences. Things like, do I wanna display my inverse relate? Do I have a default general category, maybe like adjustments? Um, if you're working in a multiple business unit um, environment, what's my default business unit? I can define my default data access set, my ledger for the general accounting dashboard, an override accounting period for the general accounting dashboard. This would allow us to switch that to a specific period there. Um, I also have the ability to do my signage options uh, for the various types of accounts there. So from our key tasks on the upper left hand side, regional, this allows me to define my date format, my time format, how I want to see my numbers, my currency. I think the most important one um, that I find is obviously the time zone. The system by default uses the universal time. So changing it, I change mine to mountain time. I'm in Denver, so that way my reports and things like that run, so it's easy to find them. Uh, we also have the ability to change my language if I'm working in a multi-language environment, that piece is there. For accessibility, this allows us, if I um, have users that need to have higher contrast, bigger fonts, um, this can um, be put on here. Uh, I'm not going to click on proxy because then you'll see my uh, user password prompts, but this is where we would go and change our private password if we wanted to change that within the application there. Uh, then um, we'll come to proxies in just a second. The watch lists, these are, as we cover in another uh, video, watch lists are uh, active searches borrowed from, uh, this technology is borrowed from JD Edwards and allows you to uh, have an active search throughout the application on various items. Um, in this case, you know, I'm an administrator in our internal environment, so I have access to almost everything. I probably do need to go in and um, sort of pare down my watch list. Uh, for the average user, they would only have a couple of items there in the, the watch list. The activity stream services, this is more for um, your social, and then Web Center Portal if you're using the automated invoice processing, which we are not at this point. These other items down here, um, these are more if you are a sales cloud user. Um, mind you, we have all, all of the, the pieces installed there, but we'll focus now on proxies. So proxies allow you to have somebody to uh, act on your behalf while you're gone. Um, so this would be mainly around approvals, right? Um, you know, you're, you have a department, you're, you don't want to hold up people's expense approvals, same thing with POs while you're gone, um, you can do that. So to add a proxy, we can either go to Actions Create or click on the Add button. We'll get a prompt. And in this case, I'm gonna add somebody from my team. So I'm gonna search for Holly. Holly comes up, I'll click apply or okay. And now I have Holly. It gives me a start and end date that I can modify. So this means that Holly will get um, in her um, work list and as well as over email notification, will get um, my approvals during this time frame where she can act on and approve them for me. So um, really valuable um, to make sure things get going, things don't get held up. Um, if you come back early, you can always come back and go to actions, delete, and delete your proxy if it comes back earlier. Um, to save that proxy and get it started, you click save. In this case, we're gonna click cancel. So that is a quick overview of how to update your preferences and add a proxy. My name is Matthew Connor, and I am Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton. Mm -hmm.